Using the tool I'm about to show you in this video, you can say goodbye to repetitive typing. All you need to do is enter a command. In this case, I've set quick call as my template to automatically insert my meeting URL email. And if you notice, it entered the subject line for me as well as the main email body. And using this tool, you'll save minutes if not hours so that you can be more productive and work on areas that are more important to you. Let me show you what this tool is and how to get started. All right, so the magical tool that I'm talking about is called TypeDesk. It is a text expander tool, which means you can create these text macros and these templates based on commands. For example, you can automatically insert your signature with a simple text command. In my case, I've set forward slash and we've got sig for short signature. And right there within an instant, I've got my email signature. Well, let's say an email template. All I need to do is enter my email template, which is email slot open, which goes out to the sponsors that I work with. So saying, hope you're doing well. I've got an open slot for this campaign on this date, so on and so forth. So you can do something as simple as that or do more advanced things, which I'll show you later on. On the back end of your TypeDesk account, you can create your templates and manage all of your existing templates right here, just like what I have done here. But before I move any further, make sure you sign up for a TypeDesk account. You can sign up for free, but you can only create up to 10 templates. I've got a paid subscription on the premium plan, so it allows me to create unlimited templates and do more advanced things and include things like my email signature photo, which I can then upload. Next, once you've signed up for a TypeDesk account, make sure you install the TypeDesk app. There are a couple of options to get started. You can download the desktop app, which allows you to enter your commands inside or outside of your browser. Otherwise, if you just want it enabled on your browser, let's say on your Chrome browser, then simply install the browser extension. But I've installed the desktop app so that it will work on both browser and desktop. And the great thing about TypeDesk is that it's compatible on both Mac and Windows systems. Let me now show you how you can create your first template in TypeDesk. There are a couple of ways to execute TypeDesk. And the first is going to the web app. So once you've logged in, you can open the web app and that will take you to the dashboard. Otherwise you can simply open up your desktop app, which essentially looks exactly the same as the web app version. But for the majority of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to add and manage everything on the web app. When you first create your TypeDesk account, you won't have any of these responses and templates, of course, but what you can do to create your first response is click on create response. This will take you to the editor. The first thing you're going to wanna do is to describe what this response is. Let's keep things simple and add an email signature. So I'll put in email signature. Next, you've got the main area where you can add the content. This will be the actual response once triggered. Type out what you want. Let's say best regards, and I'll put in my name here. And let's add something like an additional uh, URL, like my homepage here. And then what you can also do is use some of these formatting options to make things bold, or you can link it to an actual URL. I've entered my URL and then I'll click on insert. Now that is linked and whenever this command gets triggered, it will also link it or hyperlink it. If you do want to insert your own profile picture or an image, you will need a premium account and that's just a little caveat there. I'll keep things simple, keep it plain text like so. And the next step is to go into the right side area where you'll see a few options. We've got variables, variants and settings. The first thing we're going to do is set a trigger or command. And this is where it comes in, where you're entering things such as sig or forward slash sig. And that is personally my one. You won't need to enter the actual trigger, which is usually a forward slash, but there are other ways to do it as shown here where you can enter shortcuts. You can use a forward slash. Otherwise there is the percentage character and also the colon. There are a couple of other ways like using the period but personal preference, I like to use the forward slash key on my keyboard since it's the most obvious right here. So enter whatever shortcut you want. 
in this case, let's put in SG for signature. And then as described here, you can type colon SG or forward slash SG. Once done, you can save the response and a better way to actually organize your signatures is to select a folder and create different categories. So you can create a folder, let's say this is a demo. So depending on the departments that you have in your company, your business or your own individual self, you can set it there. So I'll put it in demo, click on save response. Let's now give this a test by going to our Gmail account. And then to trigger the shortcut, all you need to do is use the forward slash key and then let's put in SG is what we created. And there we go, we've got our email signature ready to go. And you may be thinking Gmail or other email uh, services already have this kind of thing, these canned responses and templates. Gmail's got it by going to more options and then you can see templates and I've got a few in there, but you get the gist, this is one use of it only. But let's go back because I wanna show you a few more options that Typedesk has to offer. If we go and edit the signature that we just created, you've got a couple of things under variables. These are custom placeholders that you can add, such as a gender conditional, we've got morning after or afternoon conditional, uh, text that you can add or selecting things general variables such as uh, your email. So what we can do is edit this email so that we can say uh, your first name and also your role and things like that. Essentially, these will automatically be filled in once you enter that command, which will trigger that uh, specific response. You've also got dynamic variables such as date and time. This will automatically put in the date and time uh, when you trigger that response. Now, under variants, this is quite handy, especially if you have different variations of an email signature. You can set up individual responses for different email signatures you may have. Let's say one's for a professional use and one's a bit more for your friends and family. So you can do that. Otherwise, if you do wanna put it all under one umbrella, like your email signature umbrella, you can do so by creating what's called variants. So we've got a default and also we can add more variants. So now we've got variant two, which we can edit and call this something like uh, friends. And with your email signature for friends, what we can do is just say, you know, signing off as Aurelius, something really simple. I know you wouldn't do this in a realistic scenario since it won't take you that much time to actually insert, but that's the idea, right? So you've got different variants. Now, when I save this, you've got the variations in the preview mode. You've got the default here and also the friends variant, which I created and you can see what it looks like. And now the way to trigger these variants is to simply do exactly the same. And that is to trigger that command. When we go back to our Gmail, I am going to trigger that variant. So forward slash SG. And now you'll see this little pop-up. It will say default or friends, which are the two that we have. Let's put in friends. There we go. So variants can prove as a really handy feature, especially if you've got different departments, different uh, demographics, different areas, and different people that you deal with. At the start of this video, you saw how I automatically inserted my call email. So I put in forward slash quick call and it automatically inserted the, not only the email body, but the subject line. I'm gonna show you how to achieve this. Head back to type this, create a new response, name it whatever you want, let's say quick call. And then the first line is actually going to be your email subject line, so treat it as that. I've entered, let's get on a quick call, and then on the right, you'll see variables. What you're going to wanna to use is the tab key, and this will allow the macro to insert that command. So that tab key really on your keyboard, and that will automatically trigger that shortcut. So we'll press enter first, and then press the tab key, and then next is where you enter your email body. So go ahead, enter your email body. I've got my quick one right here. And then head to settings and enter your quick response shortcut. I'm just going to put QK for short for quick. And then we're gonna save this. And now when we go back to our Gmail account and put in forward slash QK, there it is, it's inserted. 
An issue you may have down the line is you may have a ton of these templates and responses. So it's hard to recall what that shortcut is that you really need. Typedesk has made it really easy and all you need to do whenever you're, let's say typing an email or if you're in a text editor or wherever you are online or on your desktop, you can simply enter the option C key or if you're using Windows, it's Alt plus C. So I'll go ahead and press my option and C key. And right there, you've got all of your responses. You can even search for what you want. Let's say we want quick call and there we go, it's filtered it. And it's not only about recalling what those shortcuts are, but once you've searched for what you want, let's say your email signature, you can then double click and then that'll automatically insert it. But there we go, a really simple and effective way to save minutes, if not hours each and every day by simply using Typedesk. Go ahead, create those responses, those templates of yours so that you can save the frustration having to type the same thing over and over again. If you found this video helpful, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next training with you.